Uh, good morning. This is my entry into the rocket stove range. Something new uh, I've made. This is the rocket tube. This is a self feeder. Got a little door on it where I can put the wood. So that means the fire box is right in here. Uh, have a chimney made from exhaust pipe. This is removable. And we're going to get this lit up and see how well it works. I do have a diverter inside here that forces the flame and whatnot to come around to, to, towards the chimney so it will be harder right here, right over the uh, flame port. But let's get right to it and see how it lights. Uh, good morning. So as you see there, and you can hear it, this is why they call it the rocket stove. This is a rocket range because it's heating up a hot plate. And down inside the burn chamber, you see the rounds. They're cooking up very nicely. I'm getting a good flame up there now. And you see those water spots are going to disappear. Now you're going to have to look fast. Yeah, you see that smoke is pulling right off the wood there and drawing right down in. I'm not sure you can see that. But it is hot. And down inside the bottom, we're still burning there as well. Five minutes, it's good and hot. I have hot heat coming out the exhaust. And we'll, you know, obviously right in the center here, we're good and hot. We don't even have water staying any longer. It just beads it up and spits it away. Coming around the plate. This is around the diverter. So that's simmering speed. Yeah, we'll go over here to the corner. Yeah, we're boiling there now. And over here by the chimney, about the same. On the other side of the burger, just because the metal's hot. Yeah, you get this lit and it'll cook. Next step is to uh, clean up everything, get the rust off of it. Go ahead and get a grill paint for the whole bottom of it. The top will get sanded and oiled with vegetable oil put that patina on it, that'll uh, make it safe for cooking on.